Okay, and now we're getting to definition of shock. Shock. And I mean cir circulatory. And remember in medicine, if you say he's in shock, you mean circulatory shock. You don't mean that he's scared or something, okay? So that's important. And what is the definition? So basically, we're going to talk about different types of shock. But they have one thing in common, all of them. And what is that? It's hypotension. It's acute hypotension. So, so that's crucial. So the pressure, blood pressure goes down. And it's very acute. Acute hypotension. Oh. So it's acute hypotension. Okay, and the thing that matters is, and I will explain it in a sec, but although it's very acute, very serious, remember that shock needs time to develop. Repeat this, shock needs time to develop. That's why in case it's an instant drop of pressure and you die, you didn't die on shock because sh shock really needs some time and that means tens of minutes or and it needs minutes or rather hours or well tens of minutes hours or, or or days if you want to develop it only depends how fast the drop of uh, pressure is but if the drop is instant like this there is the shock has no time to develop okay yeah, if this is a time. So basically, it, it's very acute drop of pressure, but it needs to be gradual. Yeah. And in this case, the shock will develop. So basically, in case, what, what do you know? Do you know some examples which will just mean like instant drop of pressure? It's for example, what, what? Well, uh, watch out. In, if it's instant, I mean like really now, boom. So I mean uh, something serious, what, what, what could happen? Okay, so really fast, like in seconds that the pressure drops is... Major bleeding? Yeah, very major. So cutting carotids or something, really like both of them at the one time. So, so cutting that. Or, or femoral arteries as well. There's no, the shock has no time to develop if, if you cut them a lot. Or what about VFib, ventricular fibrillation? It's instant stop of uh, blood pressure and you instantly fall down. You're instantly unconscious. If I would have now VFib, in a sec I fall down and I will die very soon. And in this time, uh, there's no time that the shock would develop and you won't say that he died on shock. Okay. But in other cases where the bleeding is develop is, is not so severe and you're bleeding somewhere s slower than this in case you've got both both femoral arteries or whatever then shock will definitely develop okay so but what is shock can you tell me can you define me what happens if you have now the the heart and everything or the circulatory system now uh, loses pressure in its pipes. So what happens basically? So, so what happens? No oxygenation. Okay, well, uh, depends, depends. Oxygenation is going to be fine in case the lungs are okay. Then, uh, then the blood's going to be well oxygenated. Mm, something that has to do maybe with uh, organ blood supply, like okay, perfusion. okay, and then yeah, it hypoperfusion it due to hypoperfusion, okay, and what does it lead to? What where where does it lead to in the tissues? Lack of nutrients. Uh, very good, very good. Lack of nutrients and lack of what? Oxygen as well, yeah, and lack of what or too much of what? Metabolize. Okay, what do you call that then, in one word? Then, uh, uh, waste, waste products. No, 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 I meant the combination of decreased oxygen, nutrients, and build-up yeah. of waste products. What? 
Very good. It's ischemia. Okay. But now it's not local, as we talked in case of MI or stroke, or not a stroke. It's if it's if it's only ischemia, it's transitory ischemic attack of the brain. And you got a video on that also on coiled. But if it's local, it's like this. But now it's general. It's everywhere. Okay. So and mainly in periphery. It starts in the periphery. So basically, you can write down that uh, circulatory shock is a serious fail of the circulatory system that is not able to keep the perfusion of the, especially initially of the peripheral tissues, like, like skin and, and, and muscles and whatever, and it's not able to, to keep the proper amount of oxygen coming there and nutrients, and it's not able to wash out the waste products. So basically, it leads to general ischemia, okay? So the pressure falls down, and now ischemia is building everywhere, especially in the periphery for, at the start. But later, ischemia is totally everywhere. Somewhere less, somewhere more, it always depends how much the tissue is metabolically active at the moment, yeah? Okay. Good. And there's even better definition. And that's uh, because the definition like changes in years, we still, you know, we didn't talk about shock hundred years ago. So, so still we, don't know exactly what it is, but now there is an even better sort of definition which says that basically shock, circulatory shock is the reaction of the body to fight the decreased hypotension in a way. So when, if the body has time to, to start the compensatory mechanisms that are fighting the hypotension and trying to like, uh, at least keep it in the central parts for brain and heart. So when you will see this reaction going on in the body, you can say he's in shock. And when he dies already with this compensatory system turned on, you can say he died on circulatory shock. Okay? Yep. Good. So let's go on. So. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell. And as always, check the description below for supplementary questions and other materials.